So as White Rabbit Mania continues to run wild today, literally it's all people are talking about, rightfully so too. It's a very creative thing WWE are doing. There's so much more to talk about. Now, first things first, we all saw the rabbit spell out the word demon, but it followed it up by spelling out Zayu, which actually means a very spiritual person who often relies on intuition for decision making. I don't know if that means something now, but it might do, so it's something to take note of. If I had to put money on who this is, I'm still going to put money on Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross's White Rabbit actual persona was in Lucha Underground. We haven't seen this in WWE. It wouldn't make a ton of sense on paper to do this. But if you've got the right storyline, I think it can. I agree Karrion Cross has only just come back and repackaging him wouldn't make sense. But the point is he's only just come back. He hasn't done too much. Maybe there's this side of Karrion Cross that we can portray and show that we just haven't seen yet. But I still wouldn't rule out Bray Wyatt either. I actually think, if anything, we might see Cross and Bray together. That could be very interesting. There has been some connections made with Finn Balor, even Alexa Bliss too. But first things first, Fightful Select today have actually confirmed that the birds we've been seeing are there intentionally. WWE have been putting these birds backstage on Raws, mainly Raws, but a few Smackdowns too. What they mean, we don't know. We don't know if they tie into the White Rabbit stuff, but those birds have been there for months. We've covered them on things you might have missed, and I honestly thought I was going mad, but we've actually got it confirmed. They're legit. But it is very possible that these birds have no connection at all and they may be for something completely different. And because we've waited months already, we might be waiting a few more. Now, if you look at the Extreme Rules posters on WWE.com, there is actually a lantern on this pitch. You see it in the circle. There's also this like cauldron thing with fireflies. There's this sheet mask apparently too, next to Seth Rollins, which I can't really make that one out to be 100% sure that's what it is. But I wouldn't be shocked if that's the tease for Bray Wyatt and this White Rabbit stuff has nothing to do with him. They tease us like this. We expect it to be Bray at someone else, but we still get Bray in another way, possibly. We also found out today that the Underground Ozarks website actual logo is of a White Rabbit. Now, this is crucial because Bray's kind of teased this before and Carl Scarborough is currently teasing it too. Is it actually a thing? Time will tell. But we also found out the band who play White Rabbit also have a song called Let Me In. This is either the most insane coincidence of mankind or what? Now, I don't know, but every news site seems to be even reporting this. I've never seen this much hype from basically the mainstream news for something like this. And I think this puts a lot of pressure on Triple H to deliver something big with this White Rabbit storyline. Now, we kind of know on the 23rd, which is Smackdown, maybe at 9.23pm, we're going to get something. I wouldn't be rushing to think we're going to get a Bray Wyatt return or even a reveal as to who White Rabbit is. But I do think we're going to get something like maybe another QR code, maybe another tease, potentially. I think that would be kind of fun. I also want to give a massive shout out here to Ryan Satin, who found out that actually in Bray's first ever FCW promo, he ends the promo by saying, come with me, which is the same that was wrote on the QR code. The URL, the, Q the QR code take you to was literally slash come with me. There's a lot of rumors out there. A lot of people digging up the old promos again, literally going through finding things Bray said that ties into this whole white rabbit world. But let's just err on the side of caution here because Bray was wrestling for WWE for nearly, what, over a decade? Like, he's bound to have said a lot of stuff. Yes, we can find connections. Yes, it's maybe not a coincidence, but maybe it is. A lot of people have seen these crosses as the rabbit jumps across all the letters. You get the purple crosses coming out and they wonder if that could be a connection to Finn. Now, Finn does seem to be in a storyline, obviously with Judgment Day. The AJ Styles thing just started up. For that reason, I don't think too much of, it, of that. I think maybe the X's represent maybe the X in Extreme Rules, possibly. Bailey, you're out here standing like you're 10 feet tall. but Now, Alexa Bliss... 
did reference the White Rabbit promo on Raw. However, erring on the side of caution on this one too. As Five Feet of Fury, it was often said that Alexa Bliss was 10 foot of fury in a five foot body. So maybe it's just an old callback to that. However, one thing I did find really interesting was the lights going out during her match when the actual commentary team was talking about how she was a shell of herself. Also, remember back on Saturday's live event, we saw the lights just at the end. It was all red and they just flashed up with this purple light. No idea why it hasn't happened again in any of the other ones just on Saturday's live event. But what I will say, all of this is literally just taking you down the rabbit hole. We are digging. We are looking as all the f reports right now coming out from Fightful and WrestleVote State, WWE are being very tight-lipped with this, rightfully so too. But that tells me that it is something big. Whether that is big enough to be Bray Wyatt, whether it is something they think is going to be worthy of talking about in the future, we're just going to have to wait and see. Honestly, though, the speculation, the theories, honestly, on Twitter and stuff, I'm loving it. I actually, I have had so many people DM me theories today, Discord, we've been on voice chat most of the day talking theories and stuff. It's been really, really fun. So don't stop for a minute. If you think you find something, send it across. Let's talk about it. Let's have some fun because that's what wrestling should be. A very interesting note though is Bray Wyatt was scheduled for Rhode Island Comic Con on the 5th of November, the same date as Crown Jewel. He has now officially been removed from that. He's not going to be attending. Now, WWE will normally allow someone to keep their sign-ins and their sh appearances at a non-wrestling. The fact they've maybe stopped him doing so is because of a schedule clash. If he is signed with WWE, so maybe that is a sign. But who this could be literally is 100% a mystery. Smackdown, maybe we get a reveal. I think we'll get a clue. Oh my God, though, it's going to be hella fun. We're here for the ride, guys. Make sure if you haven't already, you hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. Let's end the video with a Kevin Patrick smile. More people should smile and the world would be a much nicer place. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace!